What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. So for today's video, I realized that I haven't put a breakfast video out for y'all in a while, and I know I get a lot of people asking me what can they eat for breakfast. So instead of just the simple eggs, bacon, and sausage, all the good basics, I wanted to switch it up and give y'all a different option that y'all can enjoy that y'all wouldn't think that y'all can enjoy on y'all's keto journey. So for today's video, we are going to be making this awesome keto French toast. It's so delicious, so simple to make. There is endless toppings that you can top this with to enjoy so let's get straight into this video all right guys for our keto french toast ingredients you're going to want some heavy whipping cream some butter for our flour replacement we're going to be using some coconut flour two large eggs some ground cinnamon some vanilla half a teaspoon of baking powder and then for our toppings you're going to want some sugar-free Syrup. This is the brand that I like. I just get it at Kroger or H-E-B, whatever your local grocery store is. It's really good. Just make sure it is sugar-free. You could use whatever brand that you like. And then for that powder confectioners on top, you're going to want Swerve Sugar Replacement in the confectioners kind. So first step we're going to do is make the bread for the French toast. So you're going to want something square that is microwave safe. Right here, I just have a basic Tupperware. Now you want it square because when we cut it in half, you're going to have the triangles for the French toast. Now this recipe only makes one serving, so it'll be two pieces. So if you're doing keto, this is a perfect serving for you. If you're doing it for your whole family, you may want to double, triple the ingredients, whatever you have to do to make multiple keto French toast. So first thing we're going to do is add some coconut flour to our bowl. For the coconut flour, you're going to add two tablespoons. For the heavy whipping cream, you're going to add two tablespoons as well. You're going to add the two tablespoons of melted butter, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and only one of your large eggs. Now just get a whisk and make sure everything is well mixed together inside your bowl. You wanna make sure the egg is nice and broken apart and the baking powder has dissolved within all the batter. And you're gonna be left with this nice chunky consistency. And you just wanna spread it out, make sure it's nice and even in your bowl so you can get an even French toast. When I have that all spread out, I just like to get a small spatula, scrape down any edges, put it into the batter and smooth it out. Make sure there is no air bubbles or hose. You wanna make sure that all the batter is nice and even because you don't want a thick middle or too thin of an edge. Okay, once you have it nice and even like this, we're going to pop this into the microwave and this is going to be our French toast bread. You're going to put your bowl into the microwave and we are going to microwave this for 90 seconds. And as soon as this out the microwave, it should look something like this. You can see that it's a nice spongy bread consistency. It reminds me of the 90 second bread that I like to make for my breakfast sandwiches. If y'all haven't seen that video, check it out. I also have a video on that recipe. But once it's out the microwave, you just wanna let it sit here and cool before cutting into it. And while it's cooling, we're going to be making the coating. Now for the coating that we're going to be dipping our keto French toast into, you just want a dish that you could fit the bread into to dip it. Into your bowl, you're going to put the other large egg. One tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then you're going to add in one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. And just whisk everything together. Make sure the egg gets nice and broken apart. You don't want any lumps of that egg because those lumps will stick to the keto bread and then you'll fry it and you will have yourself a real piece of egg on there <laughs> if it sticks to there. So just make sure it's nice and broken apart. 
Okay, once you have everything nice and mixed together, we're gonna set this aside and cut into our bread, and then we're going to move on to the stove and whip up our keto French toast. Now for the bread, you just cut it diagonal and you will have yourself two triangles of French toast. Just like this, look at that. Awesome keto bread for French toast. Low in carbs, so delicious. Look how thick it is, came out great. So now we're going to fry. You wanna take a pan, put it on a medium heat, and you wanna take some butter to the bottom. This is going to get our keto French toast nice, browned, and crispy. Now you're going to take your mixture. Get your French toast very carefully. This bread is very fragile. It's not like regular bread. Dip it on both sides as fast as you can. You don't want it to get soggy and put it straight into your pan. And you're going to let both sides get nice and browned. Once you have one side nice and brown, carefully flip it to the other side. And it should look something like this, nice and browned and crispy. Oh, it smells so amazing. I absolutely love this French toast. French toast is one of my favorite breakfasts. Once you have both sides cooked, just turn off your heat and now all there's left to do is top. How easy was that? Look how awesome these look. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that keto French toast, guys. This looks so good. All there's left to do is top it. So we're going to go in with our sugar-free syrup with whatever kind you use. If you like hot syrup, warm this up. It would be definitely delicious, hot, nice, and warm. Just going to drizzle some on there. There are four on here. I made two batches, guys. Don't be alarmed. Now we're going to go in with our confectioner sugar. I have a sifter right here if you just want to get it nice and sift it over it. Mm, I love extra confectioner sugar. I don't know about y'all. This just this is what makes it. This is what makes this French toast delicious. And here is our keto French toast, guys. It's so good, so easy to make, very enjoyable for dessert, for breakfast, whatever you want. Now, if you're someone that likes fruit on top of your French toast, guys, keto approved fruits, you could put some berries, you could put some blackberries, red berries, and strawberries. And you can also top this with some sugar-free whipped cream. Get creative. You can also make like a strawberry jam to put on top. The toppings are endless with this. You can put some sugar-free chocolate syrup. Maybe for dirty keto, you could use that. Or you can put some like Halo Top vanilla ice cream on here just to make it a dessert. That would be so delicious. There's so many toppings that y'all can choose from and enjoy. I'm just gonna cut into our French toast to show y'all what the inside looks like, the texture, what you will be working with. It holds up very well. It tastes absolutely amazing. This is probably the best keto French toast that you are going to get. I absolutely love it. You can see the inside, it has a nice bread texture, just like real bread. So I hope y'all enjoyed this easy keto French toast. Question of the day, what will you be topping your keto French toast with? Comment down below. All right guys, so that was today's video of our keto French toast. I hope y'all enjoyed this awesome easy recipe and this just gives y'all a different option to enjoy breakfast with along y'all's keto journey. If y'all enjoyed this recipe, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all in my next video.